The Invictus Games are coming back to the UK. In this, its 10th anniversary year, the announcement that Birmingham will host the multi-sport event for wounded, injured and sick serving personnel and veterans in three years' time is a very welcome one. So let's raise the flag. I think it is important. I mean, I think it, it, it always had to come back. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to travel the world, which it's doing, it's got to go to all sorts of different places. I mean, you know, we've been to North America, we're going back to North America, we're going back to Canada again. You know, I think coming back to the UK, absolutely. It, and now's, now's a good time to do it. And the narrative here, the story of Birmingham, the fact that this was... You know, this was the entry point for all of our mm -hmm. boys and girls coming home. You know, it, it's a really powerful thing, and I think they're going to do a fantastic job. So I think this is a really exciting uh, step. I think it's going to be a great one. And, and you know, as I said, we've got, uh, we've already got a great contest shaping up for 2029. So what's not to like? <laughs> Dominic Reed announced last week that he's stepping down as CEO of the Invictus Games Foundation, but he's confident the future of the games is assured and that he's leaving it in good hands. A team that includes the likes of Helen Halliwell, who's behind Birmingham's successful bid. Obviously we've got the Queen Elizabeth Hospital just down the road, the Royal College of Defence Medicine, which trains our clinicians, Fisher House, which is where our families go and stay when their loved ones are being treated at the hospital, and the Defence Medical Rehabilitation Centre is in the region. So a really close connection to not only our armed forces, but the Invictus community, because most of our wounded, injured, sick would have gone through the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. So that's why for the armed forces. But then of course we're here in this amazing facility, the NEC, which hosted the Commonwealth Games in 2022. All the games and accommodation, the festival feel is all going to be on one site, which will make it really special for the spectators and the participants and their families to have everything here on one site. We know that they can deliver. They did say for the Commonwealth Games. And we also know Birmingham, youngest city in Western Europe, most <laughs> diverse place in the UK, nearly 200 languages spoken here. We know they're going to give them a really warm welcome. Pickleball is one of the sports being introduced for Birmingham 2027 alongside Laser Run and eSports. As the Invictus legacy continues to grow and expand, so does the sports schedule. And I can see this one being popular with spectators. Now I'm wearing completely inappropriate footwear for this, but maybe if I start practicing now, I'll have it nailed in three years time. One man keen to get some time on court was Al Khans, Minister for Veterans and People, and himself a Royal Marines veteran. Well, I think this is exactly what Britain stands for. It's commitment, it's courage, it's selflessness, and importantly, it's service. Service first. And that's what the Invictus Games. This gives a chance for those that were injured in Afghanistan and Iraq to continue to serve, which I think is truly remarkable. Invictus is a great um, a statement from the UK. We've sort of started it off and other nations have come on board and it's a great international event. With many past, present and potentially future competitors taking part at this event in Birmingham, all eyes are currently on the Midlands City. But there is still, of course, the small matter of the first hybrid Invictus Games in Vancouver and Whistler in February next year. One thing I, I've said to the team, I said, you know, going through this process, you might feel quite lonely, you might feel quite isolated. And then you'll suddenly get a light bulb moment where you realise how much support you've got. Unfortunately, some of that support can't come out mm -hmm. and, and really cheer you on as much as they want to. But being in Birmingham, they can all turn up. They can all be there. <laughs> the British public can be there and really support and behind you. And uh, that is something that I'm not going to be able to experience myself. But... Um, I really am looking forward to seeing everybody's recovery journey just suddenly boom. As Hoops put it so well, the beauty of becoming part of the Invictus family is that it's for life, not just for one games. So he'll be looking forward to success in 2025 as much as he'll be pushing for it here come 2027. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Birmingham.